start using primer. This is Neutrogena. I love their primer and their foundation. Okay, I feel pretty good. I put it on my eyes because I don't, like I know some makeup artists use eye primer, but I don't have any of that. And I think it's just easier to go over it with the same primer. Foundation, it's in Nude 40. I love this foundation. I think that's what it's called, foundation. <laughs> it's in a stick. That's the one thing I dislike about it is that it's in this little tube and you can't get any of the leftover product out because it's in a glass container. I feel like it would be better if it was one of those that squeeze or that you, yeah, with the lid. Or if it could come out like the primer in those bottles. I don't know. Okay, that's pretty much all in. Um, I just take next, I usually use this Physician's Formula powder. I use this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. It's the 6676, what it says on the back, but it's the butter bronzer. I love this and it smells so good. It smells like a beach. I love the beach. I take it under my jaw. I don't have a really defined jawline. I've been eating way too many goodies this season, but I try to help uh, make it look like I do. <laughs> So yeah, I just try to get it on the edges there. And then for my cheekbones, I try to just get most of it on one tip of the brush and then go back. Just like that. Okay, and then I take some on the top. Should have like pinned my hair back with a headband or something, but oh well. Okay, and then I also like to use this just as a base for my eyeshadow. So I'll take like an eyeshadow. Clearly I've used this a lot, it's pretty dirty. But I take the same butter bronzer and I just mostly go in my crease. I feel like it's a good um, start for my eye look. Usually I do like a pink look or a brown look on my eyes. Today I wanna to try something different and I'm gonna go with purple. So I just, I'm really cheap. I don't buy any super like fancy brands. I don't think you have to, to do makeup and make it look good. So this is the LA Colors and it says day to night. Kind of rubbed off the night. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to use I'm wearing like a pinkish purple shirt, so I might go with like a, um, these are the colors. I think I'm going to go with this in my crease and then go with a darker purple afterwards. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm gonna go for a little more dramatic today. I'm gonna next take black in the corner. I'm gonna switch my brush to this more flat brush. It's very small, but I think it'll help me to get the shaping better. But I'm gonna go with black. As you can tell, it doesn't look that great right now, but I'm going to take a bigger brush, different one, and blend it in. I 
I think I'm going to take this more pink looking shimmer to help blend it. Fix this with some more base. Much better. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with one last color. Let's see. I think I might go in with this color right here, just to brighten it up just a little. All right, I'm not sure how I feel. Let me grab a mirror. I'm really doing this all by looking into my camera. <laughs> all right. I think it looks very nice. I just wanna go back in with that first color I started with. Really like it. I think it's turning out good. I am going to just quickly go on the bottom of my lashes. I just touched my eyeball. Oh my gosh. Next is eyeliner. I use Neutrogena once again. Oops. Right there. All right, so far, there's our look. Infallible palettes. It's the blush 230. Clearly, I've used a lot of that one. I'm gonna go with this one. I just use this brush. I'm gonna brush my eyebrows out. I don't really put any color in them, I just brush them. Next is mascara. It's been rubbed off, but this is, I believe, CoverGirl. Here's the full look with my hair done. So let me know what you like down below. If you want to see how this hair was done, check out my next video. 
next week. Love you guys. See ya.